welcome back to our channel thank you so much for joining us for viewing our videos and for subscribing to our channel we're happy that we're able to inspire you while we learn from you one of our subscribers has shared his story with us of his inspiration so as you said that was your first crop plot one right um so i'm also new in farming new and the first thing the first major thing i attempted was a scotch buy which we're um still going through the phases now but looking at your experience right you and your spouse's experience going through it all uh, the mistakes the weeds um learning about the plastic mulch applying the plastic mulch listen i've been there the only thing is that i actually decided to use a plastic mulch before um as it relates to motivating right so um i just purchased my second set of um scotch bonnet seedlings i think it was last week yeah sometime last week and the price wasn't bad because i got it for like 12 dollars per seedling which is extremely um, nice right however for the magnitude of format i'm trying to do i need a lot of seedlings and for me to get that it obviously it's better for me to do my own seedlings right so i've been playing with the idea of doing a nursery and since what since watching your video last night and watching you do a simple nursery right there, right? I got up, I went down by Israetic, I got my plastic, um, the greenhouse plastic, I got my 50, um, the 50 grade mesh um, shade cloth. That's the same as you're using, right? So that was inspired by you folks. So yeah, man, um, the YouTube page may be young, but listen, the information there is very, very good. And I like what you guys are doing, I like the family business, I like all of it, all right? And I must say that with plot one, I see a major difference, right? And you guys have now motivated me to work with first and, right? Um, full time because I see the difference between plot one and plot two. And I must say it is looking magnificent. I love it, bro. That was our subscriber from Baka Bush Farms. Thank you, subscriber. Your story means a lot to us. It's a needed motivation in this time. In one of our previous videos, we had mentioned that we recently got some rain. The rain did a wondrous thing for the plants. They look so much better initially, but with the rain also came um, some things that we have to plan for. So today we went into the field, even though it looks beautiful from the outside, but today we decided to go in to take a deeper look on what's happening and to see what is it well to do an assessment of what currently exists and so we can plan how we move forward so i'm a little bit concerned about the rate of blossoming or fruiting um there are some trees that i think they are at the age and stage that they should be fruiting more they should have more blossoms they should have more fruits but nothing much of that just a few fruits even this one well this one has some and that's why it's good look at this one it's a big tree but we only see a few blossoms so no fruits yet. No blossoms at the top. Full of few. Maybe my concerns are premature, but that's how I'm feeling right now. It's a few, like. Look. Ooh. Many of trees falling over. The trees are big, but I don't think they are producing like they should. Some of them, there are some that are producing well, but again. Just how I feel. 
so while we're going through we we spotted this plant um it had some damage to the leaves as you can see in the video the leaves are broken and they don't look very healthy so that is something that came some of the plants were falling over and so we had to kind of hold them up using a, a piece of stick to tie them to to get them off the ground uh, they didn't break they just fell over we also realized that we had some leaf curling um a few of the plants had some some leaves at the top that were curling so we were told before that this could be signs of mites so we're concerned about that and we'll have to assess that part of it also when we look at the plants from a distance they all seem to be doing well but when we go through on a more detailed level we realize that there were some plants that were very small um, we don't know what could be the cause of that we don't know if it is that they're not receiving enough nutrients or water so for example this one it was very small compared to the ones around it um, and the leaves weren't looking very healthy and so we are a little concerned about that we also noticed that some of the plants they were yellowing well we had noticed some yellowing um prior to now and we used the phyton 27 to to address it as well as we also increased um water to the field because it we were told that it probably could be a sign of the plant not being able to receive the nutrients because of that um reduced water flow we were going through and we also noticed this plant um it just died and everything else around it was healthy and so we opted to remove it because it was really of concern to us if you notice all the other plants are healthy and it was a it was a good sized plant and when we removed it we realized that the root seemed to have rotted and there was a, a white thing at the bottom of the plant we also noticed that there were some plants that were being there was there were some fruits that were being eaten um by well we're not sure what it is but we're going to have to um, address that then we noticed recently also that there were some leaves at the bottom of the plants in a section of the plot that they were just turning yellow and falling off um we based on our resource persons we were told that well under additional research we were told that it's possibly um water shortage um or bacteria leaf spot so we have increased water to this section of the plot and we have been um treating for bacteria leaf spot as well so we're going to watch watch this section to see how it goes as you know these things don't change overnight even though we would like them to um because every day you go you're trying to see if there's a change but it takes some time for them to change we're waiting to see but all is not lost um there are some plants that are doing really well most plants are doing really well we have a lot of fruits we have plants that are still blossoming and we are still looking forward to that and to what we'll be able to get from this plot and we are going to be embarking and treating whatever we see here contract um contacting our resource persons to see how best we can address the issues that we've identified so on a lighter note if you recall we recently constructed our shade house and we had trade some sweet corn seeds so we're excited to report that the sweet corns they have grown um we watched them grow we water them every day and it was quite exciting to see that we would have planted these and they are now growing um they grew into 
beautiful little seedlings and it's just exciting to see that we would have planted these and they're now growing we are now designing the pest and nutrient management program for the corns based on our soil test to maximize yield um, and now we're going to be traying 6,000 additional seedlings to complete uh, the planting at plot one. So we started transplanting the corn seedlings on Sunday and then they were the, the planting was completed on monday but it didn't complete the entire plot and so as i said we'll be training some more seedlings for that We're back on plot one and we've planted the corn seedlings, the ones that we um, we trade these ones ourselves in our greenhouse, in our, in our shade house. So we're excited about that, our first seedlings coming out. And we use the king corn. We have to do some adjustments here on plot one um, for it to accommodate the, the corn because the peppers were planted the peppers were planted two feet apart so the holes in the plastic were two feet apart now we're doing the corn and we're doing them a foot apart so we had to make some additional holes in the plastic to accommodate the the corns the corns have been in the ground for a day they were transplanted yesterday but they still had in kit so what's next we've traded over eight thousand seeds for plot three and we're inviting you to follow us on that journey we're going to be showing you as much as we can of it so remember to subscribe and to continue viewing as we continue on this journey together thank you